talking about it because life happens and we want you to be able to get the help if you need it. So I'm joined by Dr. Barbara Henley. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Yes, no, okay, so she is from Augusta University and she is the area's only board certified urogynecologist. Did I get that correct? That's correct. Awesome, and so we're talking about something, again, like I mentioned, not a lot of women like to talk to talk about because it's embarrassing but a lot of women actually deal with this and there, it's pelvic floor disorder so talk to us about what that is and how many people actually struggle with this yes absolutely so one in three women actually Whoa. will suffer from a female pelvic floor disorder and exactly what they are it's when the muscles or ligaments connective tissue within the pelvic floor become weakened okay. through childbirth, mm -hmm. chronic heavy lifting, <laughs> constipation, or just pure genetics, mm -hmm. and, um, and also time. Okay. And these women often experience bowel control problems, mm -hmm. bladder control problems, pelvic pain, or something called uh, pelvic organ prolapse, mm. where the bladder, the rectum, the small bowel may actually uh, protrude into the vagina and sometimes mm. even beyond. Ouch. the vagina yeah so it can be very painful yes and that's yes. one thing that I was gonna say is something that a lot of women who give birth deal with and that's exactly. something that even me myself I dealt with it a little bit and it's gotten better with right. certain exercises but mm -hmm. women that have to deal with it for long term right they can get help they don't have to live this way right. so what is it that they can do to get help and be diagnosed right absolutely one thing Anna one of the really unfortunate things is that 60% of women will mm -hmm. wait. They will mm -hmm. delay talking to their physician for years wow. be because of the embarrassment mm -hmm. or because of the thought that they can't get help. But absolutely, there are treatments. Yes. This is common, mm -hmm. and there are things that we can do non-surgically as well as surgically sometimes mm -hmm. to address these issues. So what are the specifics? What mm -hmm. kind of procedures um, right. would a woman have to go through so that right. they're, they're kind of familiarized or familiar with the process so they're not scared right. to come get the help? Right. Well, many women suffer from these from these issues, but their background, their histories mm -hmm. um, really make them unique. So when they come in, we'll spend a lot of time talking about mm -hmm. their risk factors and what they've already done, if anything, mm -hmm. to address these issues. And then I will do a pelvic exam that's pretty thorough, mm -hmm. but it's painless. Yeah. And um, I'll get some information there to, I'll take some measurements. Mm -hmm. And then some women may require more testing, more bladder function testing, mm -hmm. looking at the anatomy. And then depending on what we find, we may offer some type of pelvic floor physical therapy or okay. pelvic floor rehabilitation or other procedures and surgeries. And it's just like anything else. If you were to, to break your arm, you know, hurt your foot, something, you go and get the physical therapy, you go and get, you know, you see a doctor for, um, for that. And so it's just like anything else and it's something I just called myself out right. about it, and right. so I hope that you would, um, you know, if you need the help, go see Dr. Henley. She can help you with this, and we appreciate all that you're doing. And where are you located so that people know? We're located on Hill Creek Drive. Mm -hmm. We're just off of I-20, I I-520, I and um, really easy to access. There you go, and if you need more information, you can go to AugustaHealth.org or visit the Dish on 6. Dot com. Thank you again for being here. Thank you so much. Alan. All right, don't move. We're headed into the kitchen when we come back.